Hi everybody, it's Marcy Bessaker here on YouTube Live. And I am just checking my phone as always, making sure I'm on here, that you can hear me, and all is well. So while I'm checking, because I think I have my volume turned down. So there we go, it's on. So while we're waiting for people to come on, I wanted to um, go over just a couple of things, business stuff, you know, how that goes. And I wanted to say, first of all, I'm so thankful that you guys are here and thank you so much. I really enjoy, hi Sharon, I really enjoy um, having you guys here and sharing my videos and my projects and everything and um, I really look forward to it. And sometimes, hi Steph, I, I, I don't struggle on what I'm going to do. I have to choose. I have so much I want to share and do and so many stamp sets that um, I want to use and share with you. So again, like I've mentioned before, if there's something you want to see, let me know. Oh, thanks, Steph. Um, let me know because I would love to share it with you and create something. And that kind of gives me a challenge to pull something out and say, okay, create something with this and let's see where what we have and where we go and and it's just kind of fun. So uh, what I'd like to do first is ask you if you could please uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, at the bottom of the video, there's a, should be a little, oops, I just minimized my picture. There should be a little um, subscribe button that just kind of lets you know that um, I'm on or I've posted and because sometimes I don't always do a live. Sometimes I um, just jump on and do a video sometimes on Facebook sometimes here so if you subscribe to both that'd be awesome and turn on the notifications so you could get notified I'd really appreciate that and sharing would be awesome today you guys I hit 800 subscribers so I'm super excited about that I told my husband oh, I bet you I'll get a thousand by the end of June probably not gonna happen and that's okay um, we'll go for the end of July I am perfectly okay with that I'm super happy the way it's growing and um, love sharing and I'm getting a lot of comments and a lot of um, information from people that they what they like and so that helps me show you guys um, some more items so again um, subscribe and share would be awesome like would be great if you find something funny something you've learned something new or just entertaining hitting like um, lets me know you like that I'm on the right path and you like what I'm doing and that's really helpful for me to help you. Uh, my YouTube lives are on Tuesdays at two and Sundays at noon Pacific time. So um, I really appreci appreciate you guys. Hi Debbie, um, returning and watching me and the comments. I, I so appreciate them so much. Um, I am super excited that I uh, got a new demonstrator last night. So I have, um, I'm starting my downline. You know that I just returning back to stamping up and just um, getting going. Thanks, Steph. And um, so last night, I was super excited uh, that we, um, uh, that I got a new demonstrator. So that was a lot of fun. It's a perfect time right now. If you're interested, even if you don't want to do it as a business, you want to do it as a hobbyist and get 20 to 25% off your products. Now is the time. It's $99 for the kit. You get $125, I believe, in items, plus you get a bundle of your choice. That's a stamp set and die or stamp set and punch. And so that could be, you know, worth 50 plus money. So, um, and then you would be getting a discount. Yes, there's quotas. If you go to the top of my blog, marcybesker.com, you can check out the, um, join my team and it'll give you all the information and what the guidelines are and that stuff, that kind of thing. And it's really a perfect time to do it. You have two more days. Um, the 30th is the last day for the free bundle. So that's an added incentive right now. So if you're interested, please feel free to message me and let me know. And um, I can get you more information, but clicking on that link will help you. Okay. All right, so I say let's stop the business talk and get busy. So my question for you guys today is, do you want to see the card ahead of time and see what we're creating? Or do you prefer to let me create 
as we go and you guys see what it is. I tend to, I'm noticing that when I do watch people's videos, I really like kind of not seeing what it is and seeing where they're going with it and what their thought process is. And so I am going to text my husband right now to put the cat in the other room because she's at my door again. And I think she hears me in here and she's like, wait a minute, what are you doing? Put her in master bed. She is just this morning for some reason has been uh, really clingy. All right, sorry about that. She's going to meow all day and I'm not letting her in and knock down my lights this time, guys. Okay, you wanted it. Everybody wants it ahead. Okay, so this is what we're going to be creating. And there's a lot of steps and a lot of tips on this that's going to be really helpful. So here we go. This is the card we'll be doing. Of course, you can change the sentiment to whatever you want. And I just, you know, I always need birthday cards, but I really think this would be a beautiful uh, sympathy card so or just even a thinking of you or an anniversary I mean there's so many different options and um, thanks Steph thanks Sharon um, there's so many different options to do with this and then of course we're going to match the envelope and then I'm going to show you the inside um, what I did with that so what you'll notice on this card is there is only one stamp image and that's the sentiment. So I'm going to show you a quick way to create this card. I'm super excited because I saw something kind of like this from a different company. I was just randomly going through things. Hi, Dorothy and um, welcome. And so when I saw it, I was like, okay, I need to do something like that because I really liked the whole feel of it. So let's get started because it's kind of a lot of steps, but it looks complicated. It is not. So um, let's get going. If you guys are here, please say hi. I really appreciate it. One thing I want to say is if you, you need to sign into your Google account and so that you can comment if you want to. And so I'm going to put, we have a lot of, a lot of things here that we're going to be using. We're going to be using all of these. We're going to be using all of these. So I'm just going to set everything aside. I'll show you as we go. As always, you guys, all the supplies will be listed once I get the video going. And it will be, I'm just going to flip over here and see if I can. Um, and then it will also be listed below um, on the video and also on my blog, of course, which is marcybestcard.com. Okay. Oh, Steph, but you'll see that font comes from a different set. So I have, I have a lot to show you guys. Okay. So we're going to get going. So I'm going to set this card aside. So the very first thing I want you to do with this is you're going to, I'm going to pull out all of my card. I put everything kind of together and I did a card base, which is the sea foam. Of course I have my inside piece after I did the Buffalo, you'll see I did an extra one when I created the last card and I just trimmed off. It doesn't matter whatever size you want. This one is, let me get my measurements here. Three quarters of an inch. And then I just did this one. It's a little less than half an inch. And it's just because I just went to the first line to the right of my trimmer. And that's just where I cut. And so I will glue these in now. So we'll just get those out of the way and adhere them. Well, I'm not going to adhere them until I know if I'm going to put an inside sentiment or not. And sometimes I just don't know yet until I get there. And then I'm like, do I want an inside sentiment or not? Sherry, thank you for coming. So glad you made it. Okay. So I haven't used this yet today. So let's, I uh, went and hung out with a girlfriend yesterday all day. We were super, super busy. We had a lot of fun, but I'm super tired. When I got home, 
my husband was watching TV and then he's like, hey, do you want to watch some of that show? We're watching this show and we ended up binging it. Oh my gosh, you guys, we were up until my husband's going to be like, why did you tell people? <laughs> we were up until like four this morning. It was absolutely bonkers. And we were like, okay, one more show, one more show, just one more. And we're like, okay, it's in a season. We got to finish the season. And, um, it's a good show, but it's called, um, Below Deck. If anybody's seen Below Deck, Sherry, you were up late too. Is that what you're saying? Me too. Your guys' comments are just a little behind me. So I want to make sure, but, um, yeah. So worth it. Good show. It was a lot of fun. I did a lot of my prep work last night while we were watching. Um, my computer prep work uh, for my blog and the and the supplies and all that good stuff to list and there's a lot there's a lot going into videos guys there's um, you know, got to get your all your supply list together and then you got to make sure you have everything because you know we want it as easy as possible for you guys um, I don't want you to guess what I'm using you know oh yeah it's Oh, well, that's what weekends are for, right? All right, and then I just trim the edge. So there, you guys have seen me do the insides, the bottoms of cards before. All right, I'm not going to adhere it in. I'm deciding if I want to comment inside. I may end up making this a sympathy card because, you know, you need them all the time. So I'm going to set this aside. So now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do my buffalo check. All right, so my buffalo check, I just take a regular, and I have a bunch of these cut already. So four and a quarter by five and a half. I know, Steph, life will get back to normal soon. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Well, we have class Thursday, so you better be there, I hope. All right, so what I'm going to do is I want to put a piece of paper down. As I've told you guys before, this is just a piece of board with this um, like poster board kind of glued onto it just for, it helps with glare because I'll show you the bottom of my table is right there and it is like a, um, a honeycomb, but it's glass and it's shiny and I have a bigger board coming so it'll be a lot easier, but um, I don't want it to get paper all over it. So I just save these for well, here you don't need to see my scribble all over but anyway all right so we're going to set this down we're going to take the sea uh, soft sea foam which is such a pretty color and we are going to ink it up now you want your paper a, a big piece of paper like this again you guys these grid sheet papers are the best you've got all your measurements it's metric on one side and um the side I use on the other side for inches. All right, so I'm just going to make sure if you push too hard, the edges, the lines right here on the outside is going to show up. So at the end, I, once I ink it up pretty good, I just again go softly and you can tell on the bolder images if you've got lines. And if you have some, it's not that big of a deal because we are really layering up on top of it. So I'm not that concerned. Now you're going to take your paper. I want to start it right here on that bolder piece, just a little over right at the bottom because we're going to trim this down, but I want ink on everything. Okay. Then you take this over. You can see where I did it here before. And then you always keep one hand still and rub the other side. Okay. Just, you want to make sure that you get your stamped image really well. And again, we're laying layering on top of this, so it's not that big of a deal. But and then I hold it still here, pull this back, grab the corner, and then pull up. So that way your image is on there, it's not smudged and all that. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside for right now, just let it completely dry. I'm gonna clean this up. All right. All right, so that's done. That's a chamois, you guys. Now you're going to pull this up. Make sure you add your adhesive um, sticker on the back because it sticks really nicely. 
and you could leave it in here and do it but I really like the paper method after um, so that might be helpful honeybee can you remind me of your first name again I was gonna look that up because I keep forgetting and I know you go by honeybee all right so that's done so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna create I knew it started with Tashana. Tashana. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Okay, so this panel right here, I didn't make it any particular size, but my measurement, what I did is two and a quarter. Okay, so this green soft, where's my paper? What did I do with it? Okay, let's just set aside. Oh, it's right over here. All right. So I'm going to take my green and I'm going to go two and a quarter. Um, so two and a quarter is what I did. All right. I'm going to turn my fan on a little bit, you guys. It's like 100 here today. Um, if it's too loud, let me know. Sometimes I can hear it. And other people tell me they can't. So when I hear, go hear the video back, I can hear it. I don't want it to bother you. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, and I kind of pre-did a little bit of stuff, but I'm going to show you the steps, and then I'll pull in some stuff so the video won't be forever because I know you don't have all day. I mean, but wouldn't we like to craft all day? Sometimes I do. All right. So the next step, you guys, is this. I love to add bling of some kind to cards. So this, what I did is I took the gold foil paper and our adhesive sheets. These adhesive sheets are so nice. There's 12 in a bundle. And I didn't pre-look up the price, but I'm going to tell you really quick because they are so awesome. Let's see. Adhesive. Hopefully... It's right here. Adhesive sheets. Mm -hmm. Adhesive sheets. $10 and you get 12 sheets, so guys. So it's 12 by... Uh, I can too, Sharon. I am more... I would prefer to, to craft at night because for whatever reason, my mojo goes at nighttime. But my husband, of course, likes me to watch TV with them and hang out. And, of course, I would prefer that. But for whatever reason, I have to write stuff down, take pictures, and be ready for the next day because it's running at nighttime. Okay, guys, $10 for this. So I'm going to show you how we use it. And their um, Stampin' Ups is a little bit different. This is new in a new catalog. They really are. I really like these. All right, so... A lot of times you'll find adhesive sheets are one big piece of paper, but look at this. You can pull off pieces, okay? The sticky stuff is right here. So if you need little pieces or big pieces or whatever, um, you can handle a smaller piece much easier than a huge piece, all right? And then I'm just going to cut this piece off. And when I do that, I prefer to use my larger scissors. All right. So there's that. And I just, I don't even worry about this little piece because, I mean, I guess you could, but unless you have something little right there next to you ready to go. This adhesive, oh, I should show you on this piece if I can. It's kind of... Um, See how it's kind of like snail used to be, like fuse, how it's kind of stringy and sticky. So it's it's a little bit different than other adhesive sheets I've tried, which I actually, the first time I've tried it, to be honest, are these gold leaves because it's new. It's a new product and I really like it. All right, so we're going to pull off the second one. I'm just going to line it up because I'm going to use gold. I use gold a lot and I love it as like leaves in the background. I just kind of put the corner down and then slide this up next to it. Now remember if, if it's not exactly next to it, it's not that big of a deal because 
your image is going to get, you know, partial on, partial off, whatever, and it's going to be fine. It's going to stick just fine. And I'm going to take this one off. Again, this is that sticky like that. Okay, but it rolls right off your fingers, so don't worry about that. All right, and I'm going to do one more. I already did one of these. This is why this one's kind of measuring up perfect to the size. So just align it there. But what's really nice about this, guys, is you can add this to the backing of which, you know, like colored cardstock if you're going to do flowers or whatever. This also, because of that sticky little stuff, it kind of lets you pick it up and readjust it. You know that that st sticky stuff already went down. And you're going to just readjust the top of it, which is really nice. You're not going to ruin a whole piece just because it stuck to everything. Okay, so there we go. And now I'm going to just clean my scissors off a bit. And I'll do that later. All right, so there we go. Now we have a full sheet of gold. And you can tell, another really nice thing is you can tell because you've got your lines on there. And so you can tell that this has um, adhesive. But you could always write on it and say adhesive so that you know it's on there if, it, if that's difficult to, to figure out. But I'm going to set this one aside because I created in my trusty little bowl here, I created some gold leaves already. More than enough because I know I'll use them on other projects if I don't use them here. All right, so I'm going to take my adhesive sheet here and my I'm going to make sure this is the right one where's my measurement all right so I just want to make sure yes that's right I was so happy when I finished my other video the other day I was like okay I told you guys I was going to try and start a new card and hopefully it worked out and it just really I was so happy with it that it came out all right so I just kind of do this okay first so we'll just and remember this is in different um, it, it really is easier just put it on the foil okay so remember that this has strips so if you find that one strip coming across, then you know the other one is butted up against it. So everything that way is was one strip. And then, of course, you can just use this. Except I can't see that far down. There's a little, I mean, you can barely tell. And it is sticky. Now is the time you need to be careful because you don't want to pull your sticky stuff off. All right. So, and it comes off fairly easy. I just kind of slowly do it so that you don't want the leaves to go up against each other and take off your adhesive, right? So, let's see. This is the, the part where you need to be careful. There we go. Right? I need to pull out my glasses. All right, there we go. I need new contact lenses. Mine are so... I was going to change them this morning and I forgot. All right, so then just kind of lay it down. It doesn't have to cover everything. But just lay it down, smooth it out. That's going to get covered all up anyway, so don't worry about it. All right, so here we go again. So when I die cut these out, you guys, the set I used is from the new Forever Flourishing, which goes with the Forever Greenery set, which I absolutely love. That is such a fun set. And I, I know I did a video once. I'm going to be doing another one, I'm sure, because I just I can't wait to use that again. It's so much fun. Okay, so this one had three little pieces on it, so I must have angled it kind of weird. All right. 
I guess I should have already had this adhered because this is this is just a little bit of a time consuming part but you'll see how it's done okay so just be careful like this just pull it off I'm using a pokey tool or your scissor tips or something like that it's helpful all right make sure I got it all and I did all right so this one went this way already I don't want to do that so I'm going to turn it this way and just get as much as I can on here all right now what you can do is cut off this part okay but it's, this is sticky right so you could just adhere it to an edge somewhere if it works out and I'm going to pull this off the edge a little Okay, so this is going to be covered up. So just take that off. Okay, and so you can use these edges to place somewhere else if you want. The bigger edges. I don't use the littler ones. So this. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put part of it over here remember you're gonna have stuff covered covering that all up okay Deb have fun thank you for stopping in enjoy your granddaughters all right it's easier to cut from the back so you can see exactly what's hanging over All right, so now I want a little bit more at the top there in that open spot. So all I'm going to do is cut off this little piece right here. And I'm going to cut it at the stem. I'm going to cut it this way, kind of going with the leaf below so you really can't tell. And now I have these for another card. Now I'm just going to peel this off. Uh oh, did that one not have adhesive? Yeah, it did. All right, hold on. There we go. And it's really easy actually to just put your tool under. Okay, so I just want a little bit so it's just not so blank right there. There we go. Now I'm perfectly happy with that. All right. So I'm going to put my leaves away. All right, so now we have our buffalo check now. And we have this. Now what I did is you're going to notice, oh, you might not have noticed because it's kind of in the back. But see right here I have vellum and I have some some greenery here. Okay, and I'll show you what that is. So the stamp set is Forever Blossoms. So what I do is I put a note here that Forever Blossoms goes with the Cherry Blossoms stamp, uh, die set. What I've noticed that Stamping Up's been doing now is a lot of their dies don't necessarily have to go with the stamp set. The card I made today did not go with the stamp set. I did not use the stamp set. I just used the extra dies. And a lot of stuff does that. Um, for example, and I've showed this before, the, hip, the Hippo and Friends, all these little characters, yes, they go with the stamp set, but look at all the labels that are in here. So I'm choosing to put my my um, dies separate 
because I can pull this out to use for multiple things and I don't need the stamp set. So that's something to think about when you're storing your stuff. I don't want to not use those and if I had them stored in the case, I wouldn't use it. Oh, you like this font. This isn't the one that's on the card, but yeah, this is a really pretty font. And this, you know, cherish every moment of this day. You mean so much to me, friend. Wishing you a long life together filled with love and promise. Always and forever. Love and all of me loves all of you. I mean, really sweet sentiments. But I wanted to do a happy birthday because I was going to use that more often. Now I will show you that I did start with this. So this could just be stamped and colored and put on there. Look how pretty that is. So, and I'll bring it up a little closer. So you could do that and create the same card. Thanks, Sharon. Yeah, when I first was getting back into stamping up, I was like, well, wait a minute, how am I going to find that? So that's when I started to do that. You know what, I, I, I did the same thing, but I did a video yesterday or a couple days ago. Um, I think it was on my YouTube or on my Facebook Live, but it showed that the die started just falling off the paper, the cardboard that was inside, and it was just becoming a mess. And so I just decided to do the same thing and, and put store them like this, which I really like um, the storage system. I've done a lot of storage systems, you guys, different things, and I this is my favorite. Okay, so let's get busy. We're going to, we are going to pull out our dies here. We're going to pull this one out here for right now. I'm going to create a vellum one. And this is our other piece of our green here, of our, our, our soft sea foam. So I'm going to put that on here and See, it just fits, so it's perfect. Let me die cut that. All right, so there is this. And now I'm going to do it in vellum. And I try to place it whatever takes up the least amount because I can use this for other stuff. So I just try to place it up in a corner or wherever I can to save my vellum. Same with adhesive sheets and anything like that. Um, Tashana, these are by Stampin' Storage, and on my blog on the right side, um, if you scroll down below the catalogs, you'll see an image there. If you click on that, um, I am an affiliate with Stampin' Storage, and um, you can just go through there and purchase. These are the 6x7 size. They do have different sizes, but I like these because they're cardboard. And they're just really nice and sturdy. I've tried vent covers. I've tried a lot of other magnets. And they just, I've ordered a bunch off of Amazon. And I just, these are the best. All right. So now I have the vellum. And I have this. So now I'm going to cut this down. And you can see what I did is I just cut it down a little bit here. So it's four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut that down now. And I like that this has a dark edge. So I'm going to go over here and cut that down. And if it ends up with some white edge on it, that's fine. But I just want, see, it kind of came out just right like that. This one has a nice bold print there. So I'm just going to go to five and a quarter. And if it cuts it off to the white like it does there, it's fine, but it kind of works out perfect for the size. Okay, so that's what you want to do. And if it doesn't come out like this and you have too much white and like this one here, I had more white on, on the outsides than the dark, and that's fine. 
really doesn't matter. All right, so now we have our panel and it's cut down. Oh yeah, the sleeves are awesome. Okay, so now we're also gonna use the same color the sea foam. Let me see where mine went. All right, I need to cut another piece because I forgot I needed that outside that wasn't cut already. So now what I do is I cut this in half and I put this away in case I want this as a card base back in my paper. And then what I'll do is I'll cut this one down. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. I'll use this one to die cut right now. And this one, I have a drawer to the left of me. And I'll just pull it out and show you. And it's like this. I just have these little tabs and I have any paper that I've cut or needed cut and need a piece, I usually cut the rest up and put it in here, or I cut it in half and add one in here, use one, and then I put the other on the shelf in case I need a card base. But this is easy to just go to and grab your pieces. So sometimes you just need a piece like this and not two or four. So that's how I do my cardstock. All right. Now we're going to pull out our layered ovals. So I want to do the layered ovals. We're going to do the green in the background. Now I just have to remember which ones they were. I should have thought about that. That's what happens when you just kind of, you're creating and you're like, okay, so it's going to be the bigger one. I believe it's this one. Yep. This one and let's see. Nope. I should have marked this. So I think it's the largest of this and the second largest here. Okay. So I have dies out, turning that sideways. We need a white. Which is going to be this. And then we need the green as the background. I love the layering. I love this set because it comes with the scalloped edges and the regular edges. You guys, I know I mentioned this before, but the new holiday catalog is, I mean, if you name it, it's probably in there. I, I'm super excited about it. We will be able to order, as demonstrators, we can order the first of the next month. And when we do, then we can also start sharing projects. So I will definitely be doing that as soon as I get them. So I'm hoping I'll be doing fast delivery again, expedited because I've got to have it to play with. All right, so what we're going to do is I think I want, well, I'm gonna set this aside because I think I'm gonna look for a sympathy sentiment. So we'll put that aside. So now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this here. And I just kind of go in one square. And you see that it's too long and that's okay. Pick out which side you want. And I think I'm going to do that on the top. Oh, I guess I could have used stamp and steel seal. The stamp and seal, you guys, is, I really like it. But I'm such a, I'm so used to liquid just grabbing it. All right, so what I like to do, especially when I have this board here, is just kind of put this down. It's 
start up here, go down. All right, I'm going to let that set before I cut it, just so it doesn't slide on me when I cut. It's a big, bigger, heavy piece, especially with the gold on it. So we're just going to set that aside. All right, guys, now, yes, it is a perk for sure. And I love that we can order this one a month ahead. So it gives us some time to really play with it and show you. All right, so I'm going to put this aside so I don't lose it. Now, here is some crazy technique that I did and was really happy I did. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to be bringing in my pad because I'm going to be doing some coloring. So what I did with the cherry blossoms is you're going to take all the flowers. Let me find my tool here. So I took all of these flowers. Everything's white. You know, a lot of times I'm used to stamping first and then die cutting, right? Because that way you can get your, your image exactly right instead of cutting it and then die cutting. But there's no stamping here. Okay, see these little lines? We're going to put an extra piece on top of this when we die cut them so we get the image really well. All right, so we want all of these little pieces, all of these little leaves. And look how nice it is, you guys. It has this back panel so that you don't lose the itty-bitty leaf because I, I dropped this one the other day, this little tiny guy. But thank goodness they were together like that. Okay, so I've got my flower. Oops, I want these flowers. All right, so I'm going to put those together. I'm going to put the leaves all. These are all leaves except these are flowers these are leaves i'm gonna put all the leaves together and there's a reason i'll show you and then these are different flowers than these are all right so that's kind of how i want it oops here's the other flowers right here all right so what did i do the little flowers okay the little flowers are with the big flowers and then the medium flowers just kind of put them there all right not a big deal on how you put them but you'll see when you're doing the coloring just kind of group them together so that's going to be colored a different color these are going to be a color and these are going to be a color all right so I'm going to slide these on top of my cutting platform like this all right then I'm going to take another piece of paper and just lay it on top just to give it that little extra impression so your lines show up. Then I'm going to put my lid, my regular board on top, my cutting plate, and then I'm just going to go through. Now you can go through twice if you want to. And what I recommend if you do, when you do that, as your plate's going through like this, reach on the other side and push down so that everything stays in the same place and doesn't jump. Because then when you try to pull it back through, your 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 dies are gonna move and you don't want that to happen. So I tend to just reach over really well almost every time and, and do that. And see, you can see the image that it impressed a little harder so those little fine lines that you have on your dies will uh, inc increase the indention. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the leaves first. And you're going to carefully take them off, okay? And if they come out, that's okay. You just slide them back in their spot. Okay, so this is how I did it. Okay, so there's one that came out. So just get that little guy and put him back in. Okay, and this guy can move. You, you, that's fine. All right. Now what I did is I took my two sea foam, soft sea foam blends. I start with the dark, and I started with the firmer tip, not the brush tip, but the firm tip. Okay. Now I'm going to move you in a little bit. Okay. 
So now I know you guys probably can't see the lines on there very well, but what I did is I just kind of, just kind of went over the lines that are there. Okay. Nothing, nothing crazy because they're all going to be layered up and we're not going to really see any crazy artwork. And I think I added an extra line there and that's fine. I added darker tips on these. These are for the middle of the flowers. And I did just the base a little bit like that. I mean, I'm going to try and move it in one, a little bit more, guys. I know this little tiny, I just don't want it to get too blurry for you. Okay, and then I did the same here. I just did the edges just to give it a little bit of a different color. And then I did the same here. I wanted the whole card to be soft. So I didn't pull out any darker, harsher colors. Now, I wanted the middle of these also to be green. Okay, so I just, I did the darker just because I want them to pop from the flower. And while I have that here, and I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. And my flowers stayed. And then just color these. The, the reason I'm doing it like this, you guys, is if you take it out of this paper, they're going to be so tiny and so hard. You're going to be holding them and, and trying to do surgery. And so if they're in the paper still, yes, they will pop off. So you've got to be careful. But it just helps a lot. Okay, now I take the brush of the lighter color. And now on the leaves, I just go over. Don't saturate them. Do them fast. You don't want to saturate it. If there's some white showing, it's not a big deal. Just kind of go over. Oops, I forgot to do my dark green right here. Just kind of as a base because it's the base of your little inside. And then now you have your little guys. Okay, so there's your leaves. And now what I do is I poke all those out. Well, you don't really have to poke them out, but you do have to poke these out. So you want to poke out the middle of your flowers. And I just move the leaves and the centers into a bowl like this. So you don't want to lose, see, you don't want to lose your little centers. Okay, so move those over. All right, so now the second flowers I did in, I did the bigger flowers in the, uh, uh, so saffron. So again, I'm going to pull the dark. Oops, I might as well get these out too. Okay, so the flowers came out, not a big deal. I'm surprised the other stuff hasn't come out yet, but it will. All right, so again, I'm going to take the little ones and put them in there so I don't lose them. And you're just going to put these back in. Just like that. All right. Okay, so now we're going to the soft saffron. I'm going to use the brush tip. And I just go in the middle, just like that. Just go in the middle. Remember, this is going to be a soft card. So you don't want to go too dark. And now just go back and forth. Go back and forth. Okay, done. And they lighten. So once they're dry, they'll lighten up. All right, so now I'm going to take my flowers off. And let me start putting all of these back where they need to go. Oops. so we don't lose them. There's so many. And it's fun because there's a lot that, I, that's one of the things I'm really liking that Stampin' Up! is doing right now is they are doing a lot of additional dyes. All right, guys, so now we're gonna take this one. Just slide it back. You're going to have all your flowers in place. All right. Now I did all these colors the same. So it is the petal pink. So the dark and the light. 
So you're going to do the same thing with these. You're going to do the centers of that. Now when you come to these, you can see there's little lines. I just kind of did the lines. And you don't have to be perfect. So you guys, are there any thoughts on something you want me to do for Tuesday? Tuesday's video. Oops, and then I did, let me think, I did, um, I believe it was the soft saffron I did in the middle, you guys. And you don't have to be neat about it. It lightens up. We're going to be, now you want the light and the brush tip again. And now you're just going to go over. I love the, the petal pink color. It's a nice, like a skin tone kind of color, but it's also, it, it, look at it, it just, it lightens up and it's just so soft, like a really soft peachy pinky kind of color. I love it. All right, this is exactly what I use on the Magnolias, is the petal pink. Love the Magnolias. Okay, everything's done. Now I just poke it all out. Make sure you save them all. And remember, when you do all, everything, you're going to need more of these. Because there's two on a little thing, and there's four flowers. All right, so I, I pre-did all that, so I'm going to save my flowers. So I'm just going to take my little oval here, and I'm going to scoop up my flowers. And put them in here. So you can see I already did some pre-cutting. But here are my flowers, and I put them together. And I already put adhesive on the back but I only need four so I want one of each let's see one two there's three there's three different large ones so there's that that and that those are the three different ones all right and then if you add your adhesive on the back your dimensional you just pop your little green right up on top and it sticks right in there so there's my two little ones and now I need my two, there's my yellow. Oh, don't lose my center. And there's my, oh, here's my other yellow. All right, there we go. Now the only thing I didn't do is the leaves. So just pull out a bunch of leaves, whatever you have. I just did a whole bunch. And then that way I can just kind of pick and choose what I want. Oop. All right. So now I want my white. We're going to do our sentiment. There's our leaves. Pull a sentiment. All right. So now I'm just going to glance at a sympathy sentiment or something that's kind of I'm trying to look for a sentiment really quick here now that I've decided at the last minute to go with a different a different sense sentiment does anybody know of a good sympathy sentiment? Which set? There's so many pretty. Well, I wish I would have thought of this ahead of time, but I really kind of think that that's what I want to do. Oh, here we go. I found one. All right. So positive thoughts. And again, there's the nature thoughts as the dyes, but I'm going to use hugs, prayers, and love. That's what I want to use. Hug, prayers, and love. See, look at, I keep my pieces in here of stuff that I've created with. There we go. This is what I want. All right. So this is not added in my supplies. So I'm going to have to 
add that on my list of stuff I used because I just decided at the last moment that I'm going to do something different. All right, so Memento Ink. We're going to do the sentiment. So you guys, did you like the tip on the flowers? You leave them in the paper. And that just is so helpful because they're not all over. You're not trying to hold this itty bitty pieces and coloring. All right, so I want the sentiment kind of over here because we're going to do the flowers kind of going along the side. So I'm just going to test it. Oh, see, I rocked it. Don't want to do that. I haven't used this one. So I like to just stamp it off a few times. All right. Yay. All right. So when you first get stamps, sometimes just the conditioning or whatever's on the stamp is still on here. So I like to stamp with it a few times, um, wipe it off. Some people like to rub it with a towel before they even use it. Um, I just like to stamp it a few times just to kind of get the ink all up in there and make sure you get a good image. All right, so positive thoughts I will be adding to my list of supplies. This is a beautiful set. All right. Now I'm super happy I used that sentiment. All right, so I'm going to move this. I don't need that anymore. I do that for my coloring. I'm going to adhere this. I like to do these with liquid glue. That way you have a little bit of time to kind of adjust them because I kind of went low right there. And take off all the extra little threads from your scallop. All right, guys, we're just about ready here to, to adhere everything together. All right, see, I don't like that little, little tiny die right there because I will lose it. All right. So now let's bring in our card. We're going to... Now we have this that's on here. Make sure it's on nice and strong. And it is. I like to cut it down with the larger scissors. There we go. I like to pop things up. So we're going to pop up um, with our large. I thought this card was so pretty. I see a lot of people using the sea foam. And it's just such a pretty, stunning card when. Just that color alone is just so pretty. All right, I'm going to put it not so much in the middle. You'll see it's kind of to the right a little bit because I've got a lot going on over here. So we're just going to pop it on over here. Mm. I just lay it first, kind of stand back and make sure that's where you want it. All right, guys, now I took my little stem here with the vellum and the green. I put the vellum on top because the green is bolder and I don't want that to get lost in the back. And I took my glue dots and I put it on the vellum. And then I just kind of offset these a little bit like that. And then I did vellum again, vellum, a glue dot again. And another one a little up farther. And I just kind of hug the words, but keep in mind that your flowers kind of want to go over this because that looks like that's the stem of where the flowers are going to go. So kind of lay it like that. And don't worry about all this being up because you're going to be adhering flowers, okay? 
So what I did is I took, kind of lay your flowers out. I did the bigger one kind of right here to cover both of those little spots up. Okay, so I kind of put that one here and you have two stems up here. So I just kind of covered those up. So I'll do that first. And you're going to have leaves and other flowers to cover stuff up, so don't worry about it. And then I come in and just kind of lift up your little... I did those with um, the multi-glue. I glued these on. All right, so we're going to take those off. Kind of, I like to hug it around the words. Just kind of where it leaves, you know, the words are there, but your main image, your focal is kind of... Is kind of this but then of course you have you know your your sentiment it's just kind of all about what you what your preference is you know and then I just wanted this one like about there because you're gonna have your bow right here and if you guys saw how I did my triple bow I'm gonna do it slow today for you um, and show you how to do it all right, I would do I do all my flowers first. I get my placement of where I want my flowers, and then I start putting leaves in. All right, so that's kind of what how I do it. And when I first did the card, I did just the three larger flowers, and then I decided I really liked the little flowers, and I still ended up with an odd number but I just liked having that. Okay, so I'm gonna do my bow next before I do the, the flowers because, I mean the leaves, because then it's gonna fill up some space and then I wanna see where I want my leaves to go. All right, so now this is how I do my bow. You're gonna hold it between your thumb and your middle finger and down a ways because you're gonna use this part. I do a, did I do a double? I did a double. So I'm gonna do a triple on this one. So this is gauges how big you want your, oh, let me back up a little bit here. Okay, so your finger gauges the size of your bow, okay? So I'm, I go around once, and now I'm gonna do a, a figure eight, okay? One, two, three and that's the size I want of my bow so this is still attached you're not going to waste much ribbon but you want enough because you need to now go over everything so you're going to end here go over everything and bring it through and you want your bow to be straight because this is the middle of your bow right here okay so you want to over straight and now you're going to bring it under and then after it's under, and this is the crinkle white ribbon, you guys. It's so awesome. It's so soft. Um, it makes a great bow, but you can also color it with the blends. The alcohol blends, if you guys don't have them, are so amazing. Okay, so now you're going to pull the tail. Here's your other tail, so you want it back this way. Okay, so this is the front of your bow. And then you just slide it off. Did everybody see that? And then I pull the top one up and then the bottom one down. Okay, I like that. Top one up, bottom one down. So there's my bow. If you didn't see it, I can do it again. Just let me know. And then you, I, I like two glue dots. I just like to make sure that I don't put them right on top of each other, but just enough to have a lot of um, a lot of real estate there. All right, so there's my bow. And now we're going to just add our leaves. So you can add, let me see if I added, I did do the mini. Let me pull those out. So I did do some mini dimensionals. The mini dimensionals are new to me too because of course I um, didn't have them before but they are so nice. Alright so now I just kind of want to fill in. 
I don't like to come out straight from a leaf. I like to kind of come out in between and make sure you're on the right side. And I just add them where you, wherever you want to fill up some space. So like right here is really white. I'm going to have, I'm probably going to have this one. I don't like this coming straight like that. So I'm going to probably have it come from here and kind of just fill in a little bit there. But I'll probably do a little leaf. And I like to curl them a little bit, you guys. Just kind of curl them a little. Make them look just a little more 3D. I'm going to stick this one right here. I don't want I don't want it over the bow, but I want to tuck it in. And I'm going to angle it a little bit cuz it's got the between the words right there, just a little. And now the, the bow can just kind of hang. So you're just filling it in wherever you guys think. I do the big ones first. And then I move to the littler ones. I am going to do one right here just to fill this space up. And yes, you can't see it, but it's there in person. It just fills up a little bit of that space. All right, I think I'm going to do two more large ones. So you see it just all on what you guys want to do. If you guys want to do a lot of leaves, a little bit of leaves. Has everybody been crafting a lot lately? No, I, no, I don't want that there. So funny you guys I keep getting these messages from um, Amazon Prime saying your account this that's in danger you need to fill out this form whatever well your prime account and whatever whatever well my head our accounts under my husband so I should not be getting any messages so you know especially when you look at the email make sure you guys look at the email you know it's a, a hoax all right, I think I'm going to do this one kind of down here in between the two. All right. So I think that's it for the large ones. And the little ones, I just... Wow, Sharon, that is a lot of cards. It's funny, this time of year, I'm usually doing swaps and getting ready for convention and all that. And I just haven't been... And, but I have so much, so much stuff I want to play with. It's kind of nice to not have to do swaps right away. I do, I do my thank you cards for my customers. And so I, I, that's fun because I can just kind of play and decide what I want to, you know, play with and do. And so I already have June's. That, well, I have a few more orders that came in, so I, I have those cards pretty much done. And um, for those of you that don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to have you as a customer. Every month I do, if you guys use my code, I just feel like I need something up here. If you guys use my code, I will put you in a drawing. Um, so you, when you go to my blog, it's marcybesker.com. On the right, it's a, it says shop my online store, and right below is my monthly code. If you use that code, if your order is less than $150, uh, you will go into a drawing. If it's over $150, don't use the code because I want you to get all of the credit for a hostess. And you will still go in the drawing. Um, so I give something away free every month. And this month I have not decided. I will announce it on Tuesday. On my video on Tuesday, I will. I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can look at my screen while I'm doing my live. 
and do the drawing that way because I've been recording it, which is kind of, I'd rather you guys see it live. And I will also announce what you will be winning. And then you'll always get a card from me um, for purchasing. All right, guys, so I think we're done with that. I'm going to save these. I think that's enough leaves for me. And I'm okay that the bow, like some people are like, oh, the bow's going over the words. I don't care. They, they can read it. The bow just adds. But we're not done. We need to add some bling. Blingity bling. Okay, because I have a lot of 3D going on, I used liquid glue and adhered it. All right, I know about where it goes, so I try to start at the bottom. And that's where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and adhere the inside because um, I kind of just like the hugs, prayers, and love on the outside. Now I'm going to wait because I know there are some really nice sets that have an inside that um, say that you're in my thoughts or something like that. So I'm going to leave that, but I will adhere that, but here's the inside for if you missed it. All right, so there's that. We're going to pull out some. I love these magnetic or magnetic metallic little pearls. And because I have gold on here, I don't know if I showed you before, I like to cut them on the side so they're easier to come in and out. I hate the adhesive stuff at the top and them stick into my pretties. So um, we're just going to put one. I like where I put them before. Now, I know I mentioned that I'm not a big fan of putting it on top of the sentiment. But when the sentiment is this big and kind of a main vocal, then I, I, I'm not that bothered with it. One, two, three, four. So I am going to put one probably just right there. All right. So there is that. Oh my gosh. My box of sunshine stuff is so much fun. You guys, I'll, I'll show it to you really quick. Um, the cards actually are already in, but this is kind of what I've got going. So I have this one, this one, and that. And then I have cards inside, and then I have another one, but it's across the room. So I've been working on that. That box of sunshine is a lot of fun. And speaking of paper pumpkin, did you guys see what's coming up? The Summer Nights Paper Pumpkin. I am super excited about that. So much fun. I'm, and the add-on, you guys, is this right here. The, the colorful rainbow envelope or cards and matching envelopes. And it's $10. And you can, it says included 24 cards and envelopes. That's crazy for 10 bucks. There's so much you can do with that. All right, guys, so here's the envelope. I did the envelope with my last card. I don't know that I need to really show that to you. If, if you want me to show it, say um, something, and I will. It's super easy. I've done it on other previous shows. But I also forgot my Wink Estella. So what I did, once the card's all done, what I do is I just lightly go through... And you don't want to do it a whole lot. I just do the centers of the flowers. Just so it adds some sparkle. Do I get them all? Yep. Just so it adds some sparkle there. You guys can see. I hope you guys liked the card. To Shauna, yes, me too. I'm gonna or I doubled up on my bloom box next month, and I'm gonna order quite a few of the add-ons. Sharon, thank you. 
I was, like I said, I was super happy when I saw this card and it was kind of like this card, not exactly, but not exactly at all, but the concept of it. And um, I just thought it was so cute and I wanted to try and do something kind of like it. And I tend to do a lot of birthday cards because of course that's what I use the most. But I was really happy with this being a sympathy card. I liked the idea of keeping the flowers in the paper while I colored them. So I, I wanted to share that with you. Um, it just made it so much easier and fast. And this is really one stamp. And if I stamp the inside, which I will. I did do, well, I guess two if you count the buffalo, of course. And then the back. And then I did just the flower from the stamp set here. I, I just created that. I did the flower first and then I did the leaves. And I, here we go. And then, like I said, I did this on the back. I love, I love doing the envelopes that, to match the, the card. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be posting all of the supplies below and it will be on my blog in not too long. I've got the blog pretty much ready. I just have to, um, I'm going to add that positive thought stamp set on there for you and um, get these posted and get a picture of this one and get it posted up too. So thanks again, you guys, for joining me. Happy, happy Sunday. I hope you have a relaxing day. Um, I will probably be binging some of my show again, but also if you know, if you want something shown for the next Tuesday um, episode, let me know and I'll create something. You're welcome. Um, the original happy birthday came from Four Seasons, the Four Season Floral. And let me show you this real quick before I go because this is a stamp that is in the little mini catalog. And it's a very small, let me see if I can find one here. It's a small catalog that is kind of for like beginners and it, and it kind of gives you an idea of oh, here's a one of different um projects that you can do and it is on my blog you can look at it and it's called um make beautiful things and it is just a small mini catalog so you can kind of see it's new to stamping it tells you the difference between cling and polymer here it kind of gives you an idea if you want to buy the four seasons floral it gives you a list of what to buy and this is 4650 and you get all of this so you get a block you get a small package of stamps which are which is this one here so you get like a poinsettia looking some roses daisies and then a happy birthday, thank you, and for you. And then you'll notice that these papers match. So it is the for forever, let's see, flowers and every season cards and more. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's This is part of it. And you just get a lot of cards that you can start your, so you can cut your sentiments. You can start your card like this and continue on and so there's just all different types of larger size smaller size you can cut them out there's I mean there's just all kinds of stuff you can do with them and they're and they're double-sided so there's a lot you can do with with these and creating I mean they're good for journaling too but anyway you get this you get the envelopes you get one of the new stampin seals you get two mini Stamp. So this is perfect if you're just starting and you need, see how they did the pink and the, this is the Just Jade and this is the Magenta Madness, the two new colors. So you can kind of, let's see, the cards in the beginner brochure is different from the ones. Yes, they are different. Um, this one's not in there. These are in there, but this is not in there. These are not in there. So um, the next one. It's called Cute Fruit. And so that's a stamp set that you can get. 
and look at you can you get all of these little minis so if you're a new cards um stamper and or you want to just kind of get started this is perfect because you it gives you the colors that you need the stamp set you get a little block to start and it looks like you get the some card base so that's this is a really fun good start it kind of gives you some examples to do okay so here are the zebras you guys which I don't know if you saw my zebra card, but this is the one I made on Facebook Live. I think I did these on Facebook. So I did this little zebra uh, for my niece that was just born. And these little zany zebras are so cute. But again, you get a package of watercolor pencils. You get a memento ink pad. You get a block. You get dimensionals. Um... You get white card stock. So this is a great beginner set that gives you everything you need. And yes, we do have the stamp set, but we don't get it in a bundle like this. And again, a birthday stamp. So just if you look through, again, on my blog on the right side, below my current catalog, the larger one, the annual one is this one. And you can look in there and you can order from here too. This is a really cute set, you guys, and I just got it. And it's called Simply Citrus. It gives you everything to create cards, 15 cards. You get this cute stamp set, which I love stuff like Just a Note, Hello Sunshine, Thanks for Being You, Perfect Sentiments, Way to Go. It gives you ideas. So it's kind of like a glorified bloom box. Okay, so you can, you can make your cards just like this, or you can change it and do a different thing. And then you get these little blossoms. You get uh, dimensionals, thread. You get glue dots. There's all kinds. You even get an ink spot there. So anyway, this is a really great brochure, you guys, especially if you know somebody new to stamping or um, you want to do it as a gift. I'm thinking my granddaughter would love this one with the fruit. And then she gets her own little ink, and they're water-based, right? So she has her own little block and her ink everything there and her and her mom can sit down and make cards I mean how cute is that it kind of shows them how to try to line things up she's five but I think she'd love it I think a 13 year old would love it anyway I think this would be an awesome Christmas gift um, especially like right now everybody's at home bored want something to do and you could do something like this but again the paper pumpkin is a monthly subscription so if you want something monthly you can do that, but you can quit anytime and you can also suspend. So if you decide, you know what, I don't want it during this month, we're on vacation or whatever the reason is, you can just um, suspend it. So there's really not a big obligation. Um, you can save money by doing so many months ahead. There's a lot of different reasons. Yeah, I, I really like that as a gift idea for my granddaughter. I think she loves crafting and drawing and doing stuff like that. So. I think, in fact, she's coming here in um, July, next, the 8th. So I'll, I'll probably have some adjusting during for filming that week. Um, but she lives in a different state, and her family, my daughter and granddaughter and son-in-law are all coming. So I'll probably have, pull that out, and we'll, we'll be playing with that while she's here. So anyway, you guys, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I've had a lot of fun crafting with you. Thanks for chatting with me. It's so much more fun to chat with people while you're crafting, right? And I will see you guys on Tuesday. If you want something in particular to see me use, just message me and let me know. If I have it, I will definitely do that. Um, otherwise, I will come up with something crafty and I'll see you on Tuesday at 2 o'clock Pacific time. Thanks a lot, you guys. Bye. Have a great day.